ladies and gentlemen, introducing the self-proclaimed voice of the WWE, Michael Cole, who is the subject of this video, brought to you by your boy, the Lex Man. So, I just read a blog by Jim Ross, um, recently posted blog, where Jim Ross basically defends Michael Cole, and, you know, goes off on a limb and calls him one of the hardest working men in this business, and, you know, pretty much defends him from all the heat he's been getting, not just kayfabe-wise, but in real life as well. I'm gonna put the blog down in the description box, you can read it yourself. It's a really, really good blog, so. Um, pretty much what he says in this blog, he gives credit to Michael Cole, says he's been filling, uh, fulfilling his own role as a heel very well. Um, and he really shouldn't be getting all the heat from the fans that he's been getting. Internet fans, real life fans, you know, he thinks Michael Cole should be more respected than he is right now. And, um, Mike, I think Jim Ross does a good job defending him. Um, I do recommend that you read it before listening to this video. But, um, my quick thoughts on Michael Cole, yes, I do respect him, um, as the hard worker he is. Um, anybody that can work, I don't know how many shows. It, he's working all shows, I believe. Yes, he is. He's working Raw, NXT, Superstars, and Friday Night Smackdown. It's hard to not respect this guy for, um, dedicating himself to the business like he is. He's been working here for, I think, over 10 years now. And, um, he's probably been one of the loyalist workers in WWE. And so, I can't say that I don't respect Michael Cole. He's a hardworking man. And, um, you know, he's one of the... He's the type of guy that you would work... He, you would want as an employee. Because he follows orders very well. Um, he's very, um, professional. He seems to take his work very seriously, and I would imagine he's one of the first men in the building and one of the last ones to leave. Um, so yeah, guys, um, as an employee, I would see Michael Cole as the perfect model of an employee because um, he does a lot of work that he should not do, but does anyway for the love of the business, and for the love of the WWE, anyways. And um, I love his heel character. I think Michael Cole is probably, yes, I think he is the best heel he has the best heel character in WWE right now. He is such an asshole. It's like he's such an asshole that even though we know it's fake, you still hate him. That's how bad of an asshole he is. It's hard to not hate Michael Cole right now. You know, with his position um, as the voice of WWE speaking on behalf of the Raw General Manager, um, how he dial raced, um not just Daniel Bryan or uh, Caval or all the other indie superstars, how he berates the Divas in, on NXT, it's just crazy. You know, he makes the shows a lot more entertaining um, as a heel character. So, um, giving credit to Michael Cole where he deserves it, um, good employee, a great heel character. Now, get into what I think of him as a commentator. Yeah, that's a totally different story. Michael Cole, uh, aside from everything else, his main job description is a commentator behind the desk. And I'm going to be real blunt with you. I think he sucks. I honestly think he sucks as a commentator, as a play-by-play -play commentator. I think he's horrible. The guy, in my opinion, um, people relate him to JR. Uh, you can't, first of all. You, I don't think you can relate anybody to JR, but... Um, even when comparing him to JR as the new top commentator of WWE, he's horrible. He does a poor job at making superstars look good in matches. When he talks about the matches, he lacks a lot of enthusiasm. It's like he's just talking about it. It's just, uh, it's just, ugh. Um, I mean, once again, Gordon Soley, um, the one of the very first commentators in um, wrestling history. I mean, he was just one of those people who just talked to the matches too. And if you listen to him now, yeah. A lot of people will find him boring too, but um, that's my thing is about Golden Soli is when he talked about the matches, he had a lot of things to say. He had a lot of um wisdom when he talked, so it made up for his um mellow tone uh, talking. Michael Cole, on the other hand, he doesn't talk about anything that much. He's not very wise when he talks, and um, he's not enthusiastic about it. At least Jr. I mean Jr. Jr. wasn't the smartest commentator either. But at least when he talked, he was very enthusiastic about it and made it entertaining to watch. Michael Cole, on the other hand, is just, when he talks about the matches, it's just, 
he doesn't make it seem excited at all. He just makes it seem very, very bland, in my opinion, when he commentates. Now, another thing I don't like about Michael Cole as a commentator, besides the fact that I don't think he does a good job of making the superstars look good or um, commentating on the matches. Do you guys remember when Jim Ross was on commentary and a huge superstar that was, like, gone a long time? And that superstar would return, how he would just go crazy, react, and, um, you know, like, Oh my God, HBK! Oh my God, Chris Jericho! Oh my God, The Rock! How he would just go bawling crazy behind the commentary table, and it made a returning superstar look like a million bucks. It made a return very exciting. JR understood how to make a return look good. Or when, when a shocking moment would happen, JR would just get really pissed off and just say, Damn it! You know, or... That's not fair! You know, JR understood how to make a moment exciting, how to make, how to put over a segment, and how to put over a returning superstar. But when it comes to Michael Cole, I don't know, but I just think he does a horrible job at that. The thing about that is, he didn't used to. He used to be good at that, not as good as JR, but he used to be good at it too. But lately, uh, nowadays, he just, he just sucks at it. You guys remember when Bret Hart returned in January? Michael Cole just talked like Bret Hart's been here the whole time. Come, come on! Bret freaking Hart! Bret freaking Hart who's been gone from WWE because of the Montreal school job who we thought would never ever return to WWE. And he returned! And here Michael Cole is just talking casual. Like it's not a big deal. What the fuck? Really? Go back and listen to the video. You'll know what I'm talking about. I'm like, come on, Michael Cole. Really? JR, I can imagine JR just getting all emotional behind the table. And, and King, you know, he was a little bit more enthusiastic than Michael Cole. But, uh, Michael Cole, come on now. And you're supposed to be the top voice. You're supposed to be the self proclaimed voice of WWE. Please, my ass. You know, I read Michael Cole not be on the commentary table for long because, you know, I don't really think he does a really good job as a commentator, you know? I mean, yeah, I said it before, he's a great heel character, and I think him being a heel commentator makes up for his, um, lack of commentary, if that makes sense, <laughs> you know? But, no, you're not doing, I don't think he does a good job as a commentator. And this is what pisses me off. This is one of the, one of the things that pisses me off about WWE. WWE has two of the best commentators in wrestling business Jim Ross and Joey Styles working backstage right now at their shows right freaking now they have them backstage working uh Joey Styles uh I think is working WWE.com and Jim Ross is um I don't know what he's doing is he like doing some talent searching and stuff like that whatever I don't understand why aren't they behind the commentary table yeah Jim Ross um he said that maybe WWE is um, going a different direction for him. You know, Jim Ross is, he's a gentleman, guys. Um, Jim Ross will take anything from WWE. You know, they can do whatever to him. Jim Ross will say WWE is still the greatest company in the world. Because that's just how Jim Ross is. But, no offense to JR, I think the WWE is treating him like crap. It makes no sense to have somebody like Jim Ross working with the talent which is okay, I have nothing wrong with him working with talent because he has a good eye for talent. But, why would you not have him behind the desk? I mean, really, knowing how well JR does a good job at putting people over, making moments exciting, why would you not have him behind the desk? Okay, maybe he's too edgy for the PG era. You know, and, edginess is good sometimes, people. It really is. Yeah, I mean, if you can say jackass, It'll be, I'm pretty sure JR is safe. He doesn't really go all that, um, bon crazy when it comes to cuss words. He says, damn in the ass. But if you can say jackass, I think those two words are safe. You know what I'm saying? I mean, really. It, I mean, somebody explain that to me. And I'm pretty sure JR would say yes. This is his passion. Commentary behind the desk is a passion of his. And he said that in one of his blocks. And I guarantee you, if the WWE was to ask him to return, he would he would jump on it like crazy. And Joey Styles. Joey Styles is a wrestling encyclopedia. Alright? He knows probably every single wrestling move in the book. 
you know, he's probably one of the best. He is one of the best um, play-by-play commentaries because he commentates on the wrestling. The wrestling, okay? He doesn't talk about um, anything outside of the match. If it's not happening inside the ring, Joey Styles is not talking about it, okay? He stays true to his role as a play-by-play commentator. You know, if a suplex happens, he mentions it. If an elbow drop happens, he mentions it. If a dive off the top rope happens, he mentions it and does his best to make it out as something awesome. You know, and he's become a master of the art, just like JR. So, guys, understand why this frustrates me. You have two of the best commentators in the back right now. And instead of putting them behind the table, we get Michael fucking Cole. Well, guys, I think I said all I wanted to say about this video. Um, what do you guys think about Michael Cole? Will you guys think about him as a commentator? Will you guys think about him as a heel character? Will you guys think about him as a employee, as a human being? Let me know what you guys think about him in the comment section down below. I'll make a video response if you want. But um, thank you for tuning in to another video, guys. Um, if you have not subscribed to me, I do ask that you subscribe to me above uh, and check out my past videos as well. But other than that, thank you for watching. This is your boy, The Next Man, signing off. I'll talk to you later.